Yeah, man. Sup, my purples. I've been away for a couple of weeks, focusing on school, business, RCP, baby, family, and making some ga Gamer Boy music. This is what I got to say to the algorithm. Fuck you, la. Peace to the real ones watching this right now. I love you. Take my advice. When the computer or the native device is ruling your life, it's time to pick up the fight and make it right. Lower the screen time and find some inspiration, cause everything will work itself out with motivation. Dangerous. Grind on your terms, baby. Yes, that is the message, baby boy. Okay, let's talk about how my machine fell in love with Ableton Live. You machine owners out there, you might be frustrated with how long it can take to arrange a song in this. And until we get the proper song view and the standalone machine, I'm going to show you how I use Ableton Live to arrange it. First time preparation you need to do is go in here and make sure the auto warp long samples is turned off. Otherwise you're going to have some trouble with the, the warp function not really lining up the samples properly when you exported them from the machine. So make sure this one is off first of all. One way I do it is by exporting all the sounds or the groups. It depends kind of how many sounds I have that I want to export individually. But this is one way of doing it and this is what I always did before when I was exporting stuff to Logic Pro if I didn't already arrange the whole beat and machine. So first of all, you need to uncheck every single box in here to make sure you only export what you want to. And then make sure normalize is not checked. I'm exporting the group and only the loop region because that's all I need. You can see here, it's not a lot of individual patterns, so that's all I need. Loop optimize, I keep that checked as well. Find your folder, export that Soma gun. Keep track of your BPM also for this method. You'll see why in a sec. 120 is pretty completely normal. If exporting takes this long for you, you might have to consider throwing your computer out the window and getting a new one. The way I do it in Ableton Live is I press tab, first thing I do, to get into the arranger view. And then I grab my folder right here, check the BPM and enter it first just to be sure that it lines up correctly because it doesn't always do that when you've exported it like this. BPM, by the way, stands for Burst Party Management. You'll notice when you drag those pretty files in that they want to line up next to each other, but hold command and voila, magical wizard solution to the problem. If I mark one of the tracks and hold shift and press the last track, we'll mark all of them and we can close them up like this for a little bit more of a manageable view, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll mark these parts and press command E to split them. Now I got all the sections divided how I want them. Let's have a look, see here again in the big screen view delete some of the silent parts to get a better overview of it. If there's a sound that rings out somewhere, we don't want to chop that right off, so I'll compensate for that. Give her a little breather there at the end. Then what I'll do is I'll use Alt and start copying these parts around. Marking parts, holding Alt, moving. Holding Alt, moving, repeat, and build the whole song structure like that. Very simple and much quicker than machine, I gotta be honest. And let us not forget about one of the most supreme shortcuts of all, Command D. Look at this. Marking a section and pressing Command E will allow you to cut that part out in the middle. So you make these little slices like this, Command E it, remove it, amazing. The second method is what I call the drag queen method, you go girl and it works really well when you only have a few patterns in your arrangement like this. So what we're gonna do is just drag these patterns in one by one. First of all, let's start with this one, which is our main sample. Then find this little icon, hold your mouse down, hold your horses, and then drag it onto an empty track in Ableton. You can do it in the ideas view too, but I like to keep everything in the arranger because I have all the ideas already. So I'm gonna do this for every single pattern that I have and give it its own track in Ableton Live. Sorry, Ableton Live. And while I do this, 
Also note that the burst party management always steps correct when you use this method. So you don't need to enter it beforehand. It's gonna lock in perfect. Always works. If I have a specific arrangement in mind that's already made in machine, I might start fiddling with it as I go and rebuilding it to replicate it, you know what I'm saying? You can always mark multiple clips, either by holding shift or just dragging the mouse and marking them to duplicate several ones at the same time. If I come across a group that has multiple sounds that I want to export individually, I'll just solo the sounds one by one. I'm soloing it from the controller here, and then I'll drag it in. So in this case, I got a bunch of different kicks and snares, and I want them all on separate tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for every sound in this group. So the drag queen method you go girl, it works especially well if you're working with the beat in machine parallel or if you don't have too many sounds to deal with once you're done. Couple minutes later, it looks something like this. We got our whole track structured and we can start building little nuances and changes to it, dropouts, automizationalizing, all that good stuff that takes quite a bit longer to do in machine. One thing I specifically like is the overview of the automization that you can do. And uh, dropping effects like this on it, it becomes so much quicker than going through the groups or the sounds and doing them one by one. Some people do the whole MIDI synchronization and track sync shenanigans and use the machine plugin in it. B, honestly, I just love the hands-on environment in machine, so I like to build most parts of my track in there and then when the time comes to do some serious arrangement i'll pull the whole thing into ableton libre instead i want to give a big one shout out to only phantom in the black hole discord for giving me a crash course on this beautiful thing saved me a ton of time all those keyboard shortcuts and all of that get hip to that game and you're gonna be a speedy rocket when it comes to ableton libre a couple of favorite noob Shortcuts are holding Alt and scrolling to zoom and holding Alt and Shift to scroll horizontally. And then there's the separating regions like this, Command E. And if you want to join regions, it's Command and J if you're on Mac. I presume that Control is the shortcut that all of the Command shortcuts are on Mac. And again, the automation is so much smoother. Just click this automation lane track here and we can begin to automizationalize things like the master volume, for example. And it's so much smoother because you got a curve and not a pillar. <laughs> Jesus goddamn holy mother shit. I really hope that Native Instruments fixes that for the song view release and standalone release of the Machina software. Mixing here is a little bit smoother as well. We got our send tracks here. Reverb and delay set up by default. And then we can just go into the channel and set our send volumes. If we prefer, we can go back hitting tab back in the ideas view where we also have our mixer. If you want to get a more traditional overview of what your mix looks like. It's pretty amazing, really. I love Ableton Live. I wouldn't trade it for machine, but I just love getting the best of both worlds. You know what I'm saying? It's amazing. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> Thanks for watching you there. Yes, you. I'm talking about you. You should definitely check out the Black Hole Discord community. We do streams every week with a beat challenge, you know what I'm saying? Also, I want to send out some love to Begs and Aiken, one of Norway's most talented beat makers, who just lost his sister last week. So rest in peace to her. And if there's any way that you can support him, please check out his music. Anything to cheer him up. I'll put the link in the description below. Support that guy because he's a real talented mother. All right. Keep your eyes peeled for my collabo coming up with Eumonic. Like next week, probably. Whenever I feel like it. Okay, bye-bye.